Somebody is taking a photograph. I should set my hair. <laughs> Scarcity means value. Right? The engineers know that. This is plan A, plan B, and plan C. Okay. I deliberately decided not to use a presentation because I wanted you to see me first of all. When the lights are on, it's not on, it's difficult to see me. So I thought, let me talk to you and have a tete a tete with you. A tete a tete means a heart to heart talk. This is like a friendly talk, it is not a presentation or a big thing. How many of you have appeared for the diagnostic tests? That Bowen by circulated. Oh, and I'm sure you scored about 90, 80, 75. Okay, those who have not appeared for the test, please do that. It's very interesting. It will hardly take how many? 20 minutes? Probably. Yeah. And you get instant result. Yeah. So do please try that. I'm here today to say a few things based on my personal experience. I began as an engineer. In fact, I am an engineer, right? Once an engineer, always an engineer. Yeah. But I started working as a professional, as an engineer. And the person, our guest today, B.D. Kaur, he was my senior. I have learned a lot from him. From 24 volts to 440 volts, I guess, yeah. So it was a wonderful experience, but during my company work, and before Larson Topra, actually I worked in GNFC Guruj, and during my industry life, I faced some serious problems. Problems in terms of communication. I knew my subject. My electronics and electrical background was okay. Not as good as BD Gold, sir. But it was okay. But the biggest problem was communication. I was not able to present my views in English. And in fact, uh, to tell you the truth, I spoke my first sentence in English at the age of 23. I was a student of Pakka Surti medium. I never created my own sentence in English till 23. And when I started working in industry and when I saw people communicating fluently in English and without even proper knowledge of electronics or electrical or mechanical, just because of their command of English, they got success. And I saw lots of people from Surat, Baroda, maybe from most parts of Gujarat and even Rajasthan and Bihar, they were literally struggling. So at one point of time, after about five years of industry life, I decided to quit that. I left my permanent job in Larson Dobro. I was married at that time. I had a son, but I left it and I started learning English. Probably, can you imagine that at the age of 23, I spoke the first sentence in English and at the age of 40, I was a national vice president in English Language Teachers Association of India. Thank you for clapping, but my intention was to tell you that anyone can start at any age and improve their command of English. Right? It's possible. Another point which I want to highlight today is English is important. People might say this or that. I have listened to lots of industry experts and even owners of big companies. They say, so what? I don't know English. I have got success in my life. But how many of them have got success like that? And there are other reasons for their success. It is not just their competence. If you want to get success based on your competence, Anywhere in the world, you will require a good command of English. A good command of English, not just ordinary. For example, if somebody, you know, recently I went to a school. It was a result day. 
and two students they got probably 90 plus percent marks so one said to the other congratulations and the other said shame to you what did the other student say shame to you because that poor child he didn't know the difference between same and shame for him same and shame are the same <laughs> and we know that in English they are different for example, if there is a chair, empty chair beside you, and if somebody comes and asks you, can I sit here? <laughs> what will you say? You will say, you do whatever you like, I am going to change my place. <laughs> right? English is important. So right from the beginning, keep in mind three things. As a professional, I am not talking about an ordinary person who is not career conscious, but people like you who are career conscious, keep in mind three things. In any kind of communication, whether it is written or spoken, any kind of communication, whether it is a telephone conversation, a presentation, an email, a report, whatever it is, keep in mind three things, A, B, C of communication. A stands for accuracy, accuracy in terms of the choice of words, the format, the presentation, Second is brevity, briefness. Today, Dr. Bhavind said told me, don't speak more than 10 minutes. Brief, I have to be brief. I can't give a long lecture and that's why I am avoiding presentation. So, brevity, briefness. Don't speak or write two sentences where one is enough. Only teachers are allowed to speak or write more than required. Right, because they have to keep in mind all kinds of students. But professionals like you, Keep in mind brevity. And the third is clarity. It's a big, big problem in, in most parts of India. I would not say Gujarat because I have been to almost all parts of India and I have noticed that the problems are the same. We unnecessarily blame Gujarati people. The problems are the same. Right? So clarity. Clarity even in speech. Because whatever people say in terms of communication, email and electronic communication, this and that, even today, the power of spoken word is important. That's why in our personal uh, programs at Fluent Lingua, we have people who are successful in their profession. Still, there is a limit. They want to grow beyond that and they require a good command of spoken English. That's why they want to learn. So now you can ask me, how? Right? You are convinced that English is important. You are convinced that it is possible to learn English. But how? For that, two things you can do. One, you can visit our website, fluentlingua.com. Right? We have a lot of free study material. Use that material. You can share that material with others. We have lots of audio, video material, uh, text material. Our teachers are also ready to support you. It is not necessary that you join the class. Even otherwise, if you have any doubt, you know, I normally tell my students, when in doubt, what do you normally do when you have a doubt? Most students will say, ask somebody. And I say, never ever do that. When in doubt, check it out. Don't ask anyone. Because most people are highly unreliable including teachers of English, right? So when in doubt, check it out. So as I was saying, if you are really interested in improving your English, one, you can visit our website www.fluentlingua.com. If possible, learn English from a person who has acquired the nuts and bolts of the English language. We are lucky that our, at our Gordor Center, we have two excellent teachers. One is the person who has been efficiently comparing this session, Pratik Patel, and another teacher who has just walked in, Shwetal Shah. These are the two teachers who are going to conduct classes at our Gojo Center. Uh, Pratik mentioned in my introduction that he is a writer. Yeah, I am a published writer. Cambridge University has recently published my book and three other books are on the, will be available on the market very soon. I am a blogger, yes, even today's speech, whatever I planned, 
that I have posted on our blog English for Life. So if you want, you can check it. We have a YouTube channel, Fluent Kingwa. You can search YouTube channel. You can subscribe to that. I promise on this platform. I promise that almost every week you will get something new in terms of the English language. And I guarantee that such material will not be easily available. I'll give you just one last example and then I will stop. You know, most people, for example, you have finished your formal education. You are uh, trying to get a job in some international company, right? And you have a telephonic interview. And that person from the UK or the US or Canada, that person asks you a question. The first question, what's your name? And you say, Chagan, Magan, Bhupendra, whatever your name is, Gita, Gita. And very often Indian names are very difficult to understand. I have faced that problem. My name is so long, Dharmendra. If you write the letters, 10 letters. Very difficult for native speakers of English to understand. So what do they say? They will ask you to repeat the name. And if you repeat in the same way, the chances are they are not going to understand. Right? So what do you do? You use the international <coughs> alphabet that is called NATO, N-A-T-O, right? That NATO alphabet is used universally in every field, including our engineering, in aviation industry, in hotel industry, everywhere. So when you give any letters, any name, you say A for alpha, that's right, A for alpha. It's not A for Apple or A for Ahmedabad, no, not like that. Because they will not understand even in the world. So A for alpha, B for? Bravo. Bravo. C for? D for? E for? Oh, we discuss only four in the class. That's why. Right. Yeah. E for echo, F for foxtrot, Z for golf, H for hotel, I for India, J for Juliet, K for kilo, L for Lima, M for Mike, N for November, O for Oscar, P for Papa, Q for Quebec, R for Romeo, S for Sierra, T for Tango, U for uniform, V for Victor, then W for whiskey. X for X-ray, Y for Yankee, Z for Zulu. This is the way you have to give your details, right, in what, whatever industry you may be in. So I have a lot to say, but I will stop here because I know we have some excellent guest speakers today and I am also curious to listen to them. So thank you very much. All the best. Keep in touch.